pista ona que mandes que o son no coca todo la sorcunza en Isaera se arca coa. Usted te está la sectores sorcunzales y que está sorcunza lo tu verdad este es para rascotan está baita ere ekimen público aren e, Isaera de usted todo son no coca todo la e, Uria susta pen la nada la anquide zac la industria de la también la industria industria de tago por las caras cosas de licencia posee que en su caso no te la abrí Google ha ocurrido esta teoría de arriba arriba pues arriba arriba están de la co usted todo con cada tuta la abuela sobre cuánta industria en rola sobre cuánta industria que ocurre esa que ten y se era traxi y se era abrí Google Bigar en parte han lando con un aren esparrua e, piscaba se hace aguada y cuso en túnez coen e, esparrua da. E, tardón e, piscaba heiste en asteco el urbilce en asteco cuando te con eso que ya e, sormen industria en el do tú hay para todo son te estoy muy gustado lo están y cuso en túnez coen pisua y cuso en túnez coen proporción y san e, pantalla gustieta consumitzen diren ikusentzunezkoen e, pisua, rola, papela zein den Danimarkan. I think it's very important. But to be quite honest, I think um, you know, we've had a lot of uh, content um, had the Borgen and so on. Now this content it came from um, it came from the cultural perspective, yeah. and I, I have to tell you that the Danish film industry does not make any money. It's yeah. a cultural project, but and it's a bit of a coincidence that I actually these you know it came about that we had these international th successes. I think um, it's 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 brought by um, I think of group of production companies and a group of in, within the television sector who actually made a group of, of uh, you know, writing series and then Borgen is just one of the series they work with. So I think it's a very important um, branch for cultural wise, but unfortunately we have not made any money of it, on it. And that's why I say Maybe we need to change the perspective also in Denmark of how we're looking in these things, because I actually think that that this, if you've, if you've had another approach, I would think that you would have been able to make money on it. But because we had the approach that we gave grants and we didn't have any demand for it to be commercial, it was a coincidence. It became commercial and exportable to the world. So I think that we need to that's why I'm saying also I need I think we need to change the concept because I actually think there is a potential in some of these very scalable things like audiovisual and um, and um, um, gaming and some of the other things that which, which are over in that sector. I would say if I look at you, I would say that one of the challenges that we have in Denmark, of course, is also that we are extremely small language. I mean, I know you speak Basque, but you also speak Spanish here. Mm -hmm. So you have a much broader market. I mean, in Denmark we have five million, and with a bit of luck, the Swedish and the Norwegians understand a bit of Danish, but otherwise nobody understands it. So, um, so to give you the answer, I think there is a lot of potential in it, but I think that we started up with the TV series and the film industry on the cultural and doing a cultural project, not doing a commercial project. And I think you should do a commercial project in order for it to be scalable and to make money on it. Is kunzada na is kunzen konto ipa todo so gurean ere is kunzada damka un arronka un dibat se mai te rano bueno Dani era is kunzada oficial da nos ki Dani Marcan mañana bueno is tunko puru mogato da damka Eta ingelesaren presentzia, pentsatzen dut, oso hondia dela, gazte, guzti, egingo dute. Zergatik, Daniar gazte batek konsumitzen du ikusen zunezkoa, zergatik dabil interneteko edukietan, zergatik dabil Danieraz, eta ez ingelesez. Zer dago horren atzean? Hmm. 
Oh, that's a hard question. Because I think, um, let's start in another place. I don't know anybody who watches, young people who watches Flow television anymore. They're all watching Netflix, at least a lot of the young people I know. But in spite of that, I don't know, some of these TV series, the Danish TV series, they became modern, and I don't know, that's hard to say why they do. It's in, in, in the UK, it's uh, cool to be Scandinavian. I mean, that's it. It's everything Scandinavian is nice. Clothes, Scandinavian clothes, Scandinavian food, Scandinavian, and how that came along. I think it's a, it's a pressure from a lot of things, you know. Um, and that, make, that made it, you know, cool also to watch Danish TV series. Uh, they, in, 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 in the UK, they have, um, we have a, this a very special thing called hygge, which is something really crazy, Danish, Norwegian also, which we have a good time together. And this hygge, it's a, it's a concept. They've written four books about it in England, and it's, I mean, it's, it's nothing, <laughs> but it's, it's become modern. Mm -hmm. And how do, how, do you, how do you envisage when something becomes a trend? I don't know, but it's trend now. It's modern. Yeah, no la rosa no dongo que uskera moloya estatea, uskera sitena da moloya estatea. Ori gakori oso garanti tu estamos de estatega. Bueno, beste modu batera alde tu tabetare. Es kun sare kin lotu gabe bada ere, baina Dani, Dani Eras, Dani Marcan Sortuta o serie de productos Eduquio e, Berta cual dirá, local la dirá, Mañal Liberean, Universal Biurzen dirá, ¿sure usted no la usar tu verdad, e, Eduquio local, la historia local, la que está, esa guarida local, o no la cuida tu verdad, Eduquio e, Universal la que debe urto de testar, tal vez te va a hacer un interés ecuac. But I think there are a lot of issues which are actually universal today. I mean, there are trends in, 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 in the world which are universal, which we all speak about. I mean, we speak about the climate cha change. Uh, we speak about Trump. Uh, <laughs> so there are issues which are universal. Um, I think the, the thing is that at the challenge if you want to produce something, or if your content provider uh, is to find what are these, what are these trends, and what, how can you actually address them? And I think that is perhaps something that's very difficult. Like, like I said, in the gaming industry, who would think? Maybe I'm I'm too old. Who would think Candy Crush would be a tremendous success? I wouldn't have seen it. So something, some things like this is, I think, it's very hard to predict. Mm -hmm. But suddenly they are there, and it's not that, as I say, it's not that we don't. I think we think a lot because the 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 universe or the world or at least in Europe or have become we can become very much alike. We sp we speak about the same things, we read the same things, we have the same. But but it's actually finding mm -hmm. that that has that appeal for a wide uh, range of people. I think that's really hard. Hmm. But that's why there are brilliant filmmakers and brilliant content providers. Sometimes they can just say, well, this is gonna, what it's going to be. Hmm. But it's very hard to predict. Len, handy crushen arrakasta ipatu duzu, datu bat emango duzu, testakizuna. Espainiako parlamentuko presidenta, Espainiako parlamentua bilduta zen saio garrantzitsu baten, eta presidentea itxeiten ari zala, goitik arrapatutako telebista kamara batek, erakutsi zuen, presidente, gobernuko presidenteak itxegin bitartean, parlamentuko presidenta handi krasen jolazen ari zala, saio berean, beraz, arrakazta benetan handia da. Betina, aipatu duzu, zure ikuspegian, bueno, transizio bat, iraganeko eredu batetik eredu berri baterako transizio bat ikusi duzu. 
Transizio hori, esango zenuke, gauzatuta dagoela, bukatuta dagoela, edo transizioa justu izango da egoera beti mugitzen arituko dan, beti moldatzen arituko dan egoera batera. Nola egusten duzu? No, I don't think so. And I think the speed of the challenges or the, 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 the things that we are going to experience is only going to increase. Um, what I think is really, uh, and, it's, and it's very hard to predict, I mean, how the, how the future is going to look. But if you look at content, I think one of the tendencies you've seen, I mean, last five or ten years, is that if you have some content, you can use it on so many platforms. That's probably, that's, I think, a worldwide tendency. And that's also what I mean about scalability and looking at some of these things. For instance, going back to the gaming industry. Now, you would think the gaming industry was an entertainment industry, and it is. But some of the things that you can see also in the gaming industries is that you're starting to use the same gaming techniques in regards to um, medical instructions, uh, where you use gaming, you know, as a way of, uh, of explaining things. I've seen gaming industry transferred into um, HR in selection of people. It sounds crazy, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. But where you use artificial intelligence and you test people via gaming, you know, you go in and play a game and they can see your cognitive intelligence is like this and this and this and put a... So, so what I'm trying to say is, I think that we... And that's, that's also, also what I mean about the, the content industry having a big potential. You are seeing it moving to various different platforms. So you can use one content or one technique in a various... In the ways we never even thought of it before. And that's why the content industry is so, so interesting, I think. Hizkuntza kontutara itzulita, gure ikusentzunezkoetan eta gure konsumoetan oitura elebakarrak hartu ditugu, Espainia ereduari jarraituz oitura elebakarrak hartu ditugu eta Lehen tasuna eman zaio ikusentzunezkoen konsuman izkuntza bikoizteari, oda, izkuntza originalaren ganean gaztelanean euskera jartzearena. Europan, ez dakit, zuen kasuan, azpitituloen erabilera jatorrizko izkuntza eta bertako izkuntzaren azpitituloen kontua gai honi buruz zein da zure ikuspegia, zein da zuen esperientzia? Um, in the Danish broadcasting industry, you would always have Danish um, um, translated. You would have, you know, uh, the original language and then Danish translated. But I think that the, the challenge for us, um, both as, as Danish and, 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 and the Basque language, is that if you look at all the young people, I mean, they're bilingual. In, in Denmark, is you speak Danish and English. Uh, and here you would probably speak Basque, Basque mm. and, and Spanish. So, so it's, it's something that's, it's a, it's a real, and, and I think there's going to be more of that in the future, that we, we're just going to speak more and more English. You can see our, our, our language is very influenced by a lot of English uh, words, which is in the Danish. And I think... That doesn't mean that, in Denmark at least, that um, that the Danish is not, you know, it's, it's still in the in the television and, and so on. But it means that we are looking into a different world where 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 you cannot prevent prevent is a wrong word to say, but the the young people they are they are global citizens. They are not just Danish anymore. They are global. They don't. They don't consider just you know Denmark. They are oriented towards the world. 
And that means they, they are going to speak also English. That doesn't mean they're going to drop their Danish language, I think, because that's a part of their cultural identity. But they are going to speak English, and they don't really care whether the content is in English or Danish, unfortunately. Mm. Gaurre aipatu dugu nazioarteratze sarea, Gipuzkako Foraldundiak modu egonkorrean nahi luke irautea, zenbait harremanetatik, june etorriko harreman horiek, irautea denboran aurrera, eta egongo gara berriz ere zurekin baita ere gai hauetaz gai hau itzei diteko. Baina momentu batez pentsazazu bazarela dagoeneko Gipuzkako Foraldundiaren, Eusko Jorlaitzaren, aulkularia, hain zuzen ere, kultur, sormen industrietan eta ikusen zunezkotan aulkularia zarela. Non dik hasiko zinateke, zure zuen esperientziatik eta gure eskalara urbilduz, non dik hasiko zinateke, non dik hasi barko enduke urratxak ematen. Non jarri barko enituzke lehentasunak, horretaz gero ere itzengo dugulako gelditxuko dareno. Let me start by saying, I think you have a fantastic starting point. Let me just start by saying that. And why do I say you have a, a fantastic starting point? Because you have a place where creative people want to live. Where do creative people want to live? They want to live in a place that is, is, has great design, great architecture, good food, you know, some of these things that, that the creative class really likes. So you have a great potential. Then I also think you have a great potential in that you, you are actually, by nature, a bilingual um, area. I mean, Denmark was not born a bilingual area, becoming, but you have this as a natural thing. And you have, an, uh, in regards to the content, area, you have a tremendous market, perhaps one of the biggest market, if I look to Latin America, where the consumption, I just see on the rise, on the rise, on the rise. So you have a whole continent, which is actually screaming for, for content, um, which I say could be a, a good, good potential for you. And um, one of the things that's really important if you want to create a creative hub is actually also being able to attract talent. And as I started up by saying, you have this area, which is a fantastic where creative people would like to come because they like good architecture, they like good design, they like good food, beautiful. So you're able to attract creative people. And I would somehow use that to see how could I sort of look at how we created this hub? Um, so I think I think you have a lots of opportunities. Well, it's very good. But today, I'm going to start a little bit of a new experience.